Let's make a do-it-yourself vocal booth. I'm going to build, oh, she turned off the light. So I just finished grommeting eight moving blankets. I'm gonna use four of them in my home studio and I'm gonna use four of them in my classroom vocal booth. And let me show you just a little bit here. This grommet kit at our local hardware store they didn't have it at Lowe's where I normally go for hardware because uh, the only ones they had at Lowe's were one quarter inch. I wanted half inch, size four, diameter half inch, grommet kit, Juego de Ojales. And um, this, is, this is the leftovers from my project. So it's not really the box, you know, I tore it open. Anyway, it comes with the cutter this is the cutter, it's got a cutting end and then a pounding end. And you can see, uh, you can't see through it because I've pounded moving blanket through there. Sometimes they went into the tube, sometimes they didn't. It comes with uh, the base for the slugging of the grommets. And then this is the, the piston that you bang on to um, put the grommets in. The grommets are two parts. You have what I call the stump because it looks like the stump of a tree that goes on there. And then, oh, by the way, let me back up a little bit. You do this all on a block of wood. And you can see by this block of wood that I've been, I've been pounding. In fact, I've been pounding so hard. I hit my thumb twice today. Dang, in the same spot. So that, uh, that hurts a little bit, but it's uh, going to be a righteous bruise, man. Anyway, so when you're, when you're, um, maybe I should back up a little bit. I spaced out my holes in the blankets, 16 inches. Those of you that have done any kind of domestic construction in the U.S. know that 16 inches is the standard spacing between studs in a domestic residence construction. So my grommets are 16 inches apart. Can you read that? It's upside down. Oh no, it's upside down. So one inch to 16, you see. So I measured out 16 inches on the blanket. I left a couple inches on each end. This is like four inches over here, three inches, whatever. So the grommets are 16 inches apart. So you put your block down, you put the blanket over the block where you marked it, and then you pound away, you know, 10 good strikes with a hammer, and you're gonna punch a hole in it. And then you put this under the blanket, you put the stump on top, you put the hole of the blanket over the stump, and then there's the top ring. It's uh, put the rounded side up, and then you put the piston on top and you whack on this thing, 20 good whacks of the hammer. And uh, occasionally you hit your thumb. But actually, I never hit my thumb doing this part. I hit my thumb when I was doing the cutter. So that is the moving blanket. So now I have these really sturdy grommets here which will go in shower curtain rings in my uh, vocal booth I'm building for school, and they will go on hooks or nails in the wall in my home studio, and I'll show you that when I get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I am building a cheap vocal booth for my studio recording class here at the high school. It is entirely made of PVC pipe, moving blankets, and shower curtain rings. The whole thing costs approximately $100, uh, maybe just a little under it, depending on how you source your materials. The moving blankets I got on Amazon.com for about $27 for four, and you only need four. Everything else I got at the local hardware store. You can go to the Home Depot or Lowe's, and or your local hardware store. So depending on how much they charge for PVC pipe, that'll change your cost. But it was it was cheap. It was about a hundred bucks total. 
and it's totally portable. Do not use glue. You don't have to glue the parts together because if you want to move it, you can take it apart and it fits in the trunk or the back seat of your car. And I'll show you all the parts right now and then we'll put it together. I used one inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces that are five feet long. I have eight pieces that are three and a half feet long. You should have a more, uh, what, do you, what do you call these? Spring clips, A clips, pony clips. There's my foot for reference. Um, I, I need to have eight of these. I just have, I have more at the house I'm gonna bring over. But I, this is just to hold the, the moving blankets closed at the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corner joints. That's three inputs there. One inch, one inch, one inch. I have two T intersections. One inch, one inch, one inch. And I have four, four part. One inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. Right? These are all one inch. One inch is strong enough to hold the weight and it is the right size for the shower curtain rings. I have one, two, three, four moving blankets. I put the grommets in myself with a do-it-yourself grommet kit available at the hardware store. And then I linked um, two, see I've got two shower curtain rings together. Uh, this one goes on the PVC. All right, there you go. That's all you need. And that fits in your trunk or the back seat of your car. Or if you get a big uh, five foot long duffel bag, I guess you could put it in a duffel bag if you wanted to. Let's put it together. All right, so now I've taken Three and a half feet up, five feet across. Okay, three and a half up, five across, three and a half up, five across. By the way, these are the, the T's here because we want this to be open on this side. This is where people are gonna walk in and out. But this is where we use the four hole joints because we go up and then up again. And I only needed two of these, but I had to buy a four pack. That's why I said there were four of them. You only need two. Then we come around to this corner again for the other T. And then this part in here is open. So I just went up with another three and a half foot to a corner joint up there. See, three holes. Same thing here, up three and a half. Same thing here, up three and a half. Same thing here, up three and a half. And we use the, we use the uh, corner joints on each corner up there because we're gonna have pipe going across all four sides on the top. And they have to hold the moving blanket curtains. That's next. I am missing, I need four more shower curtain rings to make this complete, but I couldn't wait. I said, this is too close to, to not be exciting. So now, as you can see, it's a little high. You know, if you want the carpet, uh, not the carpet, if you want the moving blankets touching the floor, you just, you know, take your PVC pipe cutters and cut a few inches off of this, which I might do later. And then I'll get more clips to uh, 
to clip these on like that to make them secure, like I did here. So you put a clip on there, hold them in place, and I put a clip over here. I put cross members on three sides for stability. And as you saw, I put it all together with hand. I did not use glue. Now this should make a nice little recording booth. Let me, let's go inside. Oh, look at this. All right, see? Already, there's a little bit of an acoustic difference. Uh, a lot of an acoustic difference just by just using this uh, cell phone camera microphone. So this is gonna be great. Let's kit it out. Now, as you can see, this is plenty of room for a vocalist. There's plenty of room in here. Here's our microphone, music stand. There's plenty of room. You could put somebody in here with an acoustic guitar or even a keyboard. Plenty of room. You could shove the music stand deeper into the corner, set the microphone over here. Plenty of room. It's great. I love it. Now you go build your own portable vocal booth.